of the top five royal baby mysteries surrounding Duchess Catherine's surprise announcement that she is pregnant. Here's where we are so far. At number five, the Duchess and the Princess. How will Kate compare to Princess Di as a royal mom? Number four, just how wild will the royal baby frenzy get? I mean, the buzz about the newest heir to the British throne is already huge around the world. And number three, what happens if the Duchess has twins? Which child would be in line for the throne? That brings us to our number two royal baby mystery in our showbiz countdown. What will the royal mom-to-be wear during her pregnancy? You know that the Duchess is already a major fashion icon. She's setting a new tone for stepping out in style these days. And, of course, with her pregnancy comes great expectations. I want to bring back fashion designer Rosie Pope. Rosie is the creative force behind Rosie Pope Maternity. Rosie also stars on Bravo TV's Pregnant in Heels. So, Rosie, you're perfect to ask this question, too. I am thinking royal fans will obviously be obsessed with everything Kate wears, but what's your best take on how she can keep it stylish? You know, I think the best advice is to keep wearing the style that she wears right now. So if she wouldn't wear it before she got pregnant, she shouldn't wear it now. So she should stick to those very tailored, beautiful styles that she keeps rocking and definitely allow her bum to be seen. I know nothing about these things, but that makes complete sense to me. And yeah, well, the bum, that's, that's a big part of the deal over there across the pond, I guess. Uh, out of all of the royal baby mania mysteries, only one could be number one on the showbiz countdown. Here it is. Of course, we're asking, what should Catherine and Prince William name the royal baby? Imogen Lloyd Webber, the author of the Twitter Diaries, is back with me in New York as well. So Imogen, obviously, you know, naming a baby, yeah. a huge decision, no matter who you are. But a royal baby, imagine the weight of this. You have history. You have perpetuity behind this decision. So Elizabeth, Diana, Charles, William, all names being bandied about. Do you have a favorite at this early Absolutely. stage? Absolutely. The bookmakers are out in force on this one. Elizabeth is, of course, a big favorite. Sort of the baby would have been conceived in Jubilee year. And it was also the name of the late queen mother. Um, we shall see. You've got to remember there are a lot of names to play with. Interestingly is, of course, whether or not it's going to be a prince or princess. And, of course, surname. What will the baby's surname be? It might be Wales, which is what William uses in the army. But, of course, it could be Mountbatten Windsor. It could be Cambridge. Who knows? There are a lot of names to be playing with here. A lot of names to be playing with, so many rules to follow, and again, you have people looking so closely at this. I don't know if a baby name gets any more attention than this is going to get. And let me show you now a picture, if we can, of the Duke and Duchess when they were babies. Yeah. Rosie, look at this picture. Does this help you at all in the baby naming process if you were given this task? You know, I mean, it's incredibly difficult. Everybody's going to be looking to this name, and I am sure it's going to be the name that shoots to the top of the most popular names in the entire world. But, um... You know, I think classic is what comes to mind. These are two beautiful, adorable, and very classic children. And Imogen, are there rules that apply here? Or are there actually things that have to be followed to do this properly? Does it have to be a, an historical well, name, something from royalty? Well, this baby is going to be third in line to the throne, should be monarch one, one day. So you do have to be quite careful. You want to name uh, the baby after a good monarch. Uh, so Elizabeth would be a sensible name for a girl. You've had two great queens as Elizabeth, obviously Elizabeth I and Elizabeth II. Queen Victoria, another wonderful monarch. We've, of course, had not some great not so great monarchs in yeah. our history. Uh, interestingly, Charles, that's a bit of an interesting name because, of course, Charles I had his head chopped off. Right. And our Charles would be Charles III. So, again, it can be a little bit controversial, it has to be said. And they're, they're never so, going to go for anything crazy. I, I guess liquid would be out of the question. Yeah. All right, we leave it there. Imogen, Rosie, thank you both so much.